Programming smart home appliances and building home automation scenarios have never been easier before thanks to KMA Smart that do not require even one single line of code. Today in this video, we are going to build together a wireless button and a nicely looking wall mount RGB light fixture that can be controlled from both KME Smart Mobile app and an infrared transmitter. We are also going to assign some home automation scenarios to take things to the next level. It is time to go smart with KME Smart. So let's put the show on the road. Turn your dream project into reality with PCBWay. I've personally used their services to produce my own prototype for future IoT projects. Ordering your own PCB has never been easier before with a lot of features. They also have open source communities and electronics boards and tools store. The link in the description okay so at this stage i will run game config firmware and i already have my esp32 board connected uh, to the serial port of my uh, computer on com port 7 and i'll connect and here i can see the device id is already programmed so because uh, my device has already the firmware uh, anyways so now I will add the features that I want to add to my hardware. I will add the uh, RGB in order to derive the addressable LED strip. And I will add the remote so I can control and do some automation uh, to the devices that I have on my account over infrared remote control. So here I have uh, the two features. Let's uh, configure them. So here I would select the GPIO 13 because this uh, suits my hardware. And in the RGB, I will select uh, something close. Let's say uh, pin 27. It's close to the 13. And the input pin is actually used to turn on and off the switch uh, over some button or switch. Uh, so let's select five for that. I may not use it in my hardware, so I keep it as pull-up. Anyways, so now I have my ESP32 board connected to the serial port. Now I need to upload this configuration. So now the upload uh, has been completed. Actually, I also have two devices I want to program, and they have ESP8266. I want to program one of them as a wireless button, and the other one as a PIR sensor, which is nothing but a motion sensor. So here I'm going to connect and then you can see here the device ID which means that it already has the firmware. I only need to uh, configure the device. So here uh, in the configuration option I need to add a contact alarm sensor. I need to select the pin that's going to interface whether I'm using it as a button or a, a PIR sensor. So I'm going to select uh, pin 2. So here in the pull up or pull down uh, input option, we are going to select whether the device is going to report the event when uh, it reads 0 or 1. So for both cases, uh, I'm going to select as active high because the PIR sensor is going to pull the uh, detection pin to high level. So I'm going to use uh, active high and uh, yes, now my device is ready for programming. I have it already connected. Now let me flash uh, the configuration and yes, now uh, the upload uh, is done. I'm ready to build my hardware. All right, so here's the uh, wireless button that we have programmed. As you can see on this side, I have the ESP8266 and it's connected uh, to the battery uh, over this slide switch so I can turn it on and off uh, when I, whenever I want. So let me turn it on. Uh, after a few seconds, uh, the blue LED will light up, indicating that my board has been connected to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, and of course, one GPIO pin is connected to this button, and the button is pulled up. So whenever I press on this button, a notification will be sent uh, to the KME application. And we can see this on the mobile application. You can see here that I have received notifications indicating that the button has been pressed. 
All right, so here if we have a look at the application, you can see the devices I have on my list. And here I have the button, the wireless button. Uh, this is the one. So, so with such input device, we can do some automation on this page. And the auto, actually, let me show you the one that I have already implemented. So here when this button is pressed, the table lamp uh, will be turned on and a notification will be pushed to your uh, phone. So you can do this by by selecting the device that will push the notification and here I have already selected the button so this is now already repeated I'm going to delete one uh, and here you can add a, a device to be switched whether it's the uh, table lamp or the RGB controller so let me uh, and whether it's a notification to be pushed so let's add the notification again we have it over here we have the notification over here uh, we can give it a name and from now on when this uh, button is pressed a notification will be pushed uh, with this comment and this is how you can do automation and of course at the end you need to save your notification all right so here i have the uh, table lamp that we have designed in the previous tutorial and here we have the wireless button so when i press on it you can see that uh, due to the automation scenario that we have uh, constructed, the light has been turned on. All right, so now let's build our RGB LED light fixture. Okay, so this is the board that we have programmed. We have the ESP32 uh, connected to this photodiode uh, that's going to receive infrared uh, packets from this remote control. And we are going to program these packets with the KME application. So let me show you. We have covered the Alex application in the previous tutorial. You can have a look at it. So here I've added the RGB controller. We've covered the uh, lamp in the previous tutorial. So we'll enter that. Actually, as you may have noticed, I haven't connected the RGB LED strip yet. Uh, I will connect that and show you the whole thing uh, together. But uh, first, I want to show you the remote control application over here so here i have defined two packets in order to turn on and off the rgb led strip so here we can define any a new packet uh, from the uh, remote control over here by adding a new command here and when i press on any button you can see the command has been received and then uh, i can add an action to this automation like turn on the rgb led Actually, I've done that, so I have already two commands defined. Uh, actually, let me show you a demonstration. So I have actually initialized these two buttons. So actually, when I press on this V plus button, it will turn on the RGB LED. Yeah, so this indicates that it's uh, activated. And then the V minus will turn off the RGB LED strip. As you can see here, we have actually managed to control the ESP32 to accept specific packets received uh, over infrared. So I will connect the RGB LED strip and show you the whole thing, how it works together. All right, so at this stage, I've connected the RGB LED strip, as you can see, to the ESP32 board that we have. And here I have the KME application running and here in the RGB controller, I can turn on the RGB LED strip and change the color as I want from the application. Of course, I can select the color demonstration type, as you can see. Anyways, so here we can control the brightness as well. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's try out the uh, remote control that we have programmed. So as you have remembered, I've programmed these two buttons. So I will turn off the LED like this and I will turn it on from the remote control here yeah as you can see I can turn on and off the LED strip directly from the remote control over here without using the application yeah so I'll put this in some closure and we'll turn it into some nicely looking product that we can use uh, at home 
All right, so here, as you can see, I have completed assembling the LED strip on the enclosure I have. I have here the ESP32 powered up uh, over USB and this is the infrared receiver. So now here I, you can see that the RGB uh, device is already configured. You can here change the name, change the uh, icon of the device anything you want from here so now i'm returned to the device and here as you can see i can turn on and off the rgb led strip and change its color from the game in smart application i can control the brightness like this by doing so actually i can uh, decrease the amount of electrical current drawn by the leds and of course in addition to that I can control uh, the LED strip from the remote control. Imagine that you don't have your smartphone laying around. You can uh, turn off the LEDs uh, from the remote uh, control just like that, which is uh, quite handy, I think. Okay, so now it's time to show you the final product. So here's the whole thing, the enclosure and you can see here the KME application. I can change the color, brightness, and of course I can turn off the RGB LED strip uh, from the application as you can see. And here also I have the remote control, so I can control the whole device uh, from this infrared transceiver without using the uh, mobile application. <clears throat> and finally, I want to mention something related to the home automation. So you can uh, add a scene to allow a device to be turned on and off at a specific time of the day by doing scheduling. So let's say that I want to turn on my LED lamp uh, at 5 a.m. So here I will select the device that I want to turn on Let's say the LED lamp and I save it and then I can add another automation to turn it off schedule so let's say I want to turn it off at 12 and then here I'll select the same device and by doing so uh, without the need of controlling the device it will be turned on and off within the day I'm actually planning to mount this light fixture on a wall and show it in a YouTube short, so stay tuned for that. Alright, this brings me to the end of this tutorial. If you have learned something new, please like this video, share it among your friends, and tell them about useful electronics. See you in the upcoming tutorials, and bye bye.